Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. This is an order I placed from Dimension Nails. I'll give you a little story behind it. For Shark Week, she had I think like four shark polishes and I think mean, shark polishes. They had shark names to the polishes and they were cool and they were on sale super cheap. However, by the time I found out about it six hours later, they were all sold out. So I just kept my eye on the website and sales and a couple of them came back into stock and I purchased them on a sale. So that's cool. I'm, I'm still going to get the other two. And yes, I bought them because they have shark names. I know, I'm crazy. Anyways, I wanted to show you this because this is super cute. I mean, look at the packaging. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. So if you don't know about Dimension Nails, I, like I said, I kind of just ran across them on Instagram because of the shark polishes and started following and they're really cool. It seems like their polishes have animal names and themes. So like there's the tundra and then there's some animal name polishes that go with the tundra. And then there's the woodlands and then there's the ocean, which is where I purchased my polishes, the category I purchased my polishes under. So I think it is pretty cool. So this is super cute. So yes, they are vegan and cruelty free. They're also 10 free. I'm starting to really pay attention to the polishes that I buy and I'm only buying like five free and up because I want my nails to be healthy. I don't think I need the extra chemicals in them. I'm finding a ton of stuff that is mostly 10 free um, that is really awesome. So, oh, and here we go, 10 free. They have gel polishes and lacquers. Let's see, they've got vegan formulas. So, they don't use any ingredients sourced from animals. Well, that's kind of, color pigments have insect stuff and fish scales. Wow, that doesn't sound good. It sounds kind of gross. Anyways, but they don't have that in there, so that's cool. And um, they're certified here by PETA, Leaping Bunny, and Logical Harmony. So I am I'm super excited. This is super cute. I love the little packaging in that. Pretty cool. Um, so let's see. Recycle. Empty polish bottles. Look at all that recycle use. That's so cool. Right? So that's my invoice. Oh my gosh, look at the look how cute this is. Everything okay, these are my favorite colors like pink and black. <laughs> totally cute as can be. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And their website is super cute too. So here is one of them, and this one is the Great White Shark. Look how sweet that is. I also kind of really like square things, because, you know, shelves are square, and square things fit better on shelves. But, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Cute. And let's see what else we got here. What's this one called? This one's Hammerhead Shark. So she's got two more shark polishes that I do want to get. So hopefully I'll be getting those soon too. And then I can make some shark prep things. But anyways, we're going to actually take, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about the brand. And then we are going to swatch these for you. Dimension Nails has themed polishes. So they have different themes and then they have animal named polishes that go with the themes. I ordered out of the ocean. So they had ocean themed nails and I picked the shark polishes. So one of the polishes is the Great White Shark. And on the website, they have a picture of the bottle. Then an awesome picture of the shark, which is really fun. They also have a picture of the swatch, which is very helpful. And then another fun part is they actually have the shark facts, which is super cool. For 
both of these swatches, I'm going to use a base coat underneath. And this just to smooth out any lines or ridges you may have to also to protect your nail against staining and to help adhere the polish better to your nail. And none of that really matters since I'm just doing a swatch of it and then removing it. So, but I do it for protection. The first one I'm going to show you is called the Great White Shark. Normally I read the descriptions off of their website. Oddly enough, there's no polish descriptions on their website. That is so weird. <laughs> they have this great story about the sharks, but no polish description, which also makes it kind of hard to buy. But I thought their, um, their swatch photo was really good, so I'm going off that. So this looks like it is a gray with a really nice sparkle, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the first coat. And it applies really nice and it, it almost almost covers in that first coat. It looks a little bit like it might have some holographic properties. Something's glowing in there, but it's not like rainbow or anything like that. But it's gorgeous. This is really gorgeous. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with a second coat. You really do need two coats just to cover everything really good. Here are, here's the finished look and it is top coated. So yeah, I think it is kind of a little holograph. It's kind of hard to tell I'm indoors, but it is beautiful. Okay, I went outside and I went all the way down to the street because that's where this one was shining. And it is holographic. It is gorgeous. So pretty. Um, so that's a, that was a surprise. Hmm. So here, if I get up really close and out of focus, you can see the hollow. So beautiful. I also ordered Hammerhead Shark. So here's the website picture of that. The picture of the shark. That shark looks really weird. <laughs> the picture of the swatch. And then some fun facts about Hammerhead Sharks. Now we'll take a look at Hammerhead Shark. And this is a like a gunmetal gray, and it looks like it's a pearlized, a pearl finish nail polish. With pearl finish nail polishes, you want as little strokes as possible. You want to start at the top and bring your brush all the way down to the bottom. And that will give you the straightest brush strokes. You can cover up any mistakes you make on your first coat with your second coat. Just remember, all the way at the top, and then I like to do one side, then the other side, and then down the middle. Okay, so here is two coats with a um, fast dry top coat. Now, I did try to sponge this, and it didn't work out real well. And I might have, might have been because I put my sponges in with my cotton balls and they're all full of fuzz, cotton ball fuzz. So I think I just only put like a couple of them in there because those are pretty much trashed. <laughs> Anyways, so this is the finished look. And just like I said, if you do one side and then the other side and then down the middle, you do not get as many um, breast strokes. So I think that looks pretty good. So this year was the year 
Like I was really big into the sharks. I got two awesome shark stamping plates and my daughter had a shark mermaid theme birthday party for her kids. She usually just does them all as a group. So those were super cool. And she made these awesome t-shirts for them to wear. And it was really cool. And this is actually one of the party favors. It's a giant, you know, obviously a plastic shark tooth, but I just thought it was super cool, you know, with shark week being so close and everything. It was really awesome. So I will share pictures of them at the very end. So if you want to see pictures of my grandkids with their cool party gear on, um, just keep watching. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not one of my subscribers, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now. Don't forget to wait for the pictures.